If you're looking for a way to increase the production value of your live streams while avoiding the ongoing cost of camera operators, then check out Pan Tilt Zoom Cameras or PTZ Cameras. They're a great way to bring fresh movement and coverage to your production. They can also go places where camera operators cannot. For example, mounted to the ceiling of a venue or keeping a low profile on stage or even removing the need for a camera operator to be physically on set at all. There's also simplicity. You'll see here I have a single ethernet cable for this ceiling mounted camera that is providing power of ethernet, camera control and NDI video out. The wonderful thing is that after your initial investment, these cameras will continue to work for you around the clock, day and night, and can be automated to perform maneuvers like this one that you would otherwise need to hire a dedicated operator for. So how do you control these cameras? Well, I've created the DJF PTZ profile for the 32 button stream deck. Now as a solo operator, you can control four Canon PTZ cameras while also switching a show. And this whole setup is a fraction of the cost of Canon's own control surface. Not only will this keep your desk tidy with a compact form factor, but there's a ton of control packed into 32 keys that goes way beyond the normal camera control. Let's take a look at some of the key features. We've got manual control of pan, tilt and zoom. You can easily switch between a fast and a slow speed at the touch of a button to either reposition quickly or to perform an on-air maneuver. You can recall 10 preset positions for each of the four cameras at the touch of a button, and you can save presets simply by long pressing that button, just like you would program your car radio station. You can easily switch your camera's drive motor between time mode and speed mode and reposition mode. Likewise, there's a slow fast preset button that will change the speed of your maneuvers as you go between recall positions. For instance, I'm at recall position number two at the moment, and I can smoothly zoom out to recall position one at the touch of button. You can also turn cameras on and off by long pressing the camera button. Then in the camera settings menu, you have full manual control over gain, shutter, iris, white balance, and the focus, the image stabilization, digital zoom, setting a custom white balance, and also the focus speed. There are three user picture profile settings that you can modify for your own purposes. For instance, you can switch between daylight or tungsten white balance. There's a full auto mode, or you can toggle the manual shooting modes between aperture priority, shutter priority, program mode, or full manual. If you hold down the manual button, it will jump to full manual mode. Likewise, you can hold the manual button to reset base parameters such as gain to 0 dB or shutter to 1 60th. Then when you have all your settings dialed in, long press a preset button to be able to recall the position as well as picture profile settings instantly. There's also something I've uniquely developed which is called a gang mode. The idea here is that with gang mode on, it's suited towards a single operator who is controlling cameras and also cutting a show. The preview monitor will gang as you select each camera and it will load that camera into the preview. So then you can simply reframe your next shot and hit cut. Also with gang mode enabled, when you change the manual motor speed, the drive time or the drive speed on one camera, those settings will gang as in they will also be updated on all of the other cameras. For instance, I'm controlling camera two here and I wanna be able to switch from the time drive mode to the speed drive mode. And I also wanna make it slow rather than fast. Now, when I switch over to control camera one, you'll see that camera one settings have been updated also. This simplifies your workflow, reduces the number of button pushes required, and it also reduces errors since it allows your brain to work in a linear fashion, rather than having to think about how you'd previously set up a different camera. Which brings us to the gang mode being off. When gang mode is off, this is designed for a team environment with a dedicated remote camera operator. In this environment, you might have a director calling and switching the show, and with the gang off, the preview monitor does not gang when the remote camera operator is selecting cameras. Also, changes made to each of the camera's drive time, drive speed, or reposition mode are independent of each other. For instance, maybe you wanna have camera one to be always doing a slow zoom in and out like I've been showing you here so far in the video. And then when you cut away, you want camera two to be quickly reframing so that it's ready for the next insert shot. Turning off gang mode will ensure this independence. You'll note that the cut auto button is also disabled when the gang mode is turned off. And this is to avoid the camera operator making switching decisions. If you'd like that on by default, there is a dedicated cut auto button that you can copy from the back end service pages. Now, on top of all this functionality to control cameras, you also have the versatility to add over 200 other live streaming devices to your system at a later date. 
switches, graphics, video playback, encoders, audio mixers, the list goes on. This profile is based on open source software, so your console can grow as your live streaming capability grows also. Let's take a look at what you need to get this operational. You're gonna need one to four Canon CRN300 or N500 PTZ cameras going via ethernet into a switch, preferably PoE to power the cameras and simplify your wiring. From the switch, you're gonna go into the router, from the router into the computer. It can be Mac or Windows or even a Pi. And that's gonna have Companion installed, which is the software running this Stream Deck on the back end. And then that computer or Pi is gonna be plugged in via USB into this Stream Deck, which is controlling the buttons here. Now for video, you're either gonna connect the cameras via HDMI or SDI into a switcher, or these cameras also have NDI HX video out over ethernet, so you can connect your camera with a single cable. So there are four profiles available on my website depending on the type of equipment that you're running. First profile is a four camera PTZ profile for those who just want the camera control. There's the PTZ Plus ATEM Mini Pro Switcher, which also includes VLC playback and HDR graphics. There's the PTZ Plus the ATEM Mini Extreme Switcher, which has a lot more functionality and also VLC playback and HDR graphics. And then there's the full kit and caboodle, which is a four camera PTZ plus ATEM Mini Extreme plus the ATEM Mini Pro as a backup switcher and VLC playback and HDR graphics. It's all in there, everything that you need to run your whole show with four PTZ cameras and ATEM switches. So if you're looking for an easy and compact way to control your Canon PTZ cameras and you want to increase the production value of your live streams, then visit davidjoshuaford.com ptz to get started with these profiles today.